This is the review on animated deluxe class sound wave. I just received them today. And I would have had them Wednesday, but I've had a bad run of luck with customs. And they held it for a couple of days, but I got them today. So you see, he's really cool. He's a deluxe. He comes with this guitar, which actually turns into a laser beak. Let me show you that real quick now. See, you can, and when you're storing it, you can press the the staff of the guitar down, just like that. Turn it, turn it so you can see. And it's a laser beak. You simply just pull it out like that. But I'll show you more of that later. Right now, I'm just gonna do some comparisons. Here's um deluxe bumblebee, and here's deluxe jazz. So you can see more or less his size difference. See, he fits right in with the rest of the deluxes, which is really cool. Okay. And, um, you can also store, see, you can store the guitar on top because the bottom of Laserbeak's feet, it has, like, two little pegs that pop out. And on the top, you can place it, see? That's how it, that's how it sticks. But if you want, if you don't want to have it like a guitar, you can turn it around and fold it out. And you can place them on top as laser beak. Just an mm, option. That looks hot. Just an option. Okay, now the transformation itself. The transformation is it's it's kinda it's easy. It's just that the legs are tricky, but I'll I'll show you how to work around it right now. Okay, first of all we start by bringing on this tab which shows the front cassettes. And here we drag out the arms and leave them like that for now. And now the legs we leave the arms like that. And then we bring down the legs, we keep them like that for now, just like this hanging. And then we, we spin the waist. Right? And from here we have, you see these cassette thingies? You have to lift them up. So like that the legs can poke through. We do it on this side too. Oh, the cassette buttons. Yeah, you have to, you have to pop them up, like that. See? Oh, it came off. But, as you see... Yeah, that happens a lot. <laughs> So like that, you open this cassette and you bring it through like that. And the bottom, you just bring the feet up. And now that we have them like this, we press the cassettes down even more like that. So it yeah, forms his legs. Okay, now we bring, we push this upper part. As you see it, it folds up and then bring it and it clicks. See, it's like that. And now that we're here. We pop the wheels in, so they look like the speakers in this, in this robot mode. And from here, you can basically see what's going to happen. You just bring down the arms, right? And the hands are inside, so you basically just slide them out like that. Slide them out. And the last thing, of course, is the head, which you just got to like put your nail in and drag it out. But there he is. You see, he's he's not the biggest transformer. He's actually pretty small. Yeah, I figured he would be a little bit bigger. But he's at, he's still regardless. He's really cool. To the back. Okay, now I'm gonna do some direct. Man, before I do anything, I'm gonna show you how his guitar works. You stick off the shaft. You see his pegs, right? In the mm -hmm. inside of this arm, there's this peg that, ha that has a screw. So you just prop it in, right? And you fold it like that. <laughs> so it makes like he's playing a guitar type feel. It looks cute. <laughs> and also you can, you remember the pegs I told you about on his back to store it? Mm -hmm. He has them on his hand. These pegs, they have, he has it on his hand. Wait, show it these so you can just stick it in his hand and it stays there steady so you can have him whichever way you want you see that's cool so laser beak can stay in his hand steady as you know one thing about the figure he's kind of wobbly his waist there you go he's kind of wobbly 
that's one downfall but I'm sure crazy glue could fix it well, you know crazy glue the, the joint and yeah it, you put make, you put crazy glue on the joints and it'll and roughen you, it up yeah it roughs it up okay you so what I'm gonna do now it. is I'm gonna do some direct sound wave comparison I have here my um Cybertron Voyager mm. sound wave I have here of course my G1 sound wave I should have found my white mp3 sound wave and here's my to um, put it in. mp3 player sound wave I should have brought mine too can you get a good look at them all standing together yeah you see sound wave is the smallest My and, white one wouldn't look nice with them. And um, let's do some laser beak comparisons. Here's G1 laser beak. Here is um, Cybertron laser beak. And the new animated laser beak. Get a good look at them. So you see Soundwave, animated Soundwave is the smallest, but still, I think he, next to Voyager, Soundwave, he's still very articulated, he's still very cool. So get a good look at them. So like that, I can move on and show you comparisons with figures from the animated series, so like that you can get a better more. So you can get a look at them, so just, before anything, I'm gonna bring these two down. And get a good look at the the latest versions of Soundwave. For me, I feel like an, a, a Voyager class would have been more appropriate for the animated Soundwave, considering in the series he's just the size of Bulkhead. Yeah, he's really so tiny. I'm, so I figured that the, a, a Voyager class would have been better for him. And if he was going to be a deluxe, he should have been a little taller. But regardless, he makes up for it in a lot of things. Okay, also... Laser beak can be stored. I'm put them. Put them away now, including these two. Laser beak can be stored in its back too. Basically, the back becomes the top of uh, the the top of the, the Carmo becomes the back of robot mode. So you can store him like that, or you can store him whichever way you want. Even even as laser beak, if you want, you know, like if you want it to be laser beak, you could just store him like that. Make him get like a view like he has wings or something like that. Okay, and before I do anything else, I'm just going to show you next to Voyager Prime and Ratchet. And then I'm going to try to swim him back. Real quick because I'm running on time. So there's Voyager Prime. And here's Ratchet. I'm going to leave him there for like five seconds so you can get a look at him. So you see Snowy is pretty small, okay? Okay, now the transformation back. Just leave sound wave. Okay, I like to start by pressing the head up. Press the head up, fold the wheels back into place. Fold the wheels back on the side. And you push the hands in, and you raise the arms so they can be like that. Right, just like that. And we just keep it, keep it up for now. And now we spin the waist and keep we push it through and we keep it like that. Push the, the leg in. Wait, show it because your hands are in the way. Keep the leg in and then seal it to the top. Fix same it. same thing with this. Seal it in the top. Okay, now the legs, see you kind of just positioning them, position them to be in front of the car. And then you see it clicks right here that and now we just bring the bottom and we spread it out like that wait show it. Your hands are wait, wait you see you, sp you spread it like that and now we just bring back the arms see we just pop it in you saw that right same thing with this side just pop it in 
and you also gotta make sure that see everything in the bottom everything is clicked right see and there he is and of course I'm gonna keep him as laser beak the top okay so that's it this has been the review of animated so I'm gonna hope you've enjoyed it my name is Banks and thank you for the review and